Normally, if I was asked to get up early after a late night to trek up a mountain, I'd probably say no. But in pushing myself, I got to experience the early morning beauty of Hong Kong. I also learnt why you should not feed the monkeys. Hong Kong felt so vibrant and so alive. I don't think I've ever really felt that in Sydney. In some ways it felt more like home. A mix of modern and ancient cultures was prevalent in Beijing. A rich history with complex blends of culture. There were so many incredibly talented people. I only got to take a glance into their lives. I really wish that I could have met them individually and personally. The outcome of their skills and dedication inspired me to work harder and to achieve more. Being in a completely different environment felt strangely usual. Even though some of it was hard to stomach at times, crazy had become pretty normal. All the while I was researching, developing, testing, also setting fire to many circuits. I determined feasible materials for our project and sourced them in Xinjiang. When considering thermal equations, developing makeshift power supply units, and writing programs for dresses, I completed a very broad set of tasks. We held an adaptive approach to design, so the constant iteration of concepts meant that our final outcome was only a sliver of what we had done. I loved the group that we travelled with. They constantly impressed me with their fields of expertise, and I hope that in the future, we'll be able to work in a similar collaborative space.